Hey guys, it's Drebex here, this montage effect, number 11. Uh, it's about optical flares, so this is just a P JPEG. It's just a picture, but yours should be a video of cinematics or something. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to use optical flares. So just go um, add optical flares, of course. Alright, then go to... And make sure it's on transparent, I think. Oh no, hold on. Delete optical flares. And just create a new adjustment layer. And then add it. And make sure the mode is on screen. And you just want to go to options up here. And you want to remove all of these. Uh, this is just a cool effect. It's called DAG. So you just want to go to Texture Image and put DAG on. See, it's kind of this dirt effect. Uh, you can turn the brightness up, but uh, I'll put it down if I were you. Um, so I'm just going to turn the brightness a little bit down, so like that, and press OK. Gives it a cool effect. Uh, we're gonna add another optical flare or a lens sphere. It, it really doesn't matter. Or null light factory. I'll just use a lens sphere though. Uh, never mind. I'll just use optical flare. And. Hold on. Yeah, just now I'm gonna show you the real optical flare. You can place it wherever you want. So up here, change the color of it if you want. So if you want it kind of like a green glow kind of. And you can also add things if you like. Go to custom presets. Add. Uh, you can add anything you want. I'm not gonna add anything though. Uh, I'll add a streak up there. And you just want to make sure everything's green, kind of the same color. Okay. You can also exit things off if you'd like. So if you like it like that, uh, I'm just going to add some stuff. I'll add a streak. Uh, you can also add a glow. So that gives it a cool effect. And yeah, you can move it whatever you want. So yeah, that's about it. So subscribe, rate, comment, and like this video. Bye.